also past losses, pre-existing trauma, childhood traumatic loss, other suicides in the family. There's so much to consider. And one of the major factors is that there is no anticipatory grief. People emotionally prepare for a death from the time of diagnosis to the changing relationship in that dying trajectory. Personally, I worked with clients, patients as a bereavement coordinator of hospice for several years, and I worked them through that dying trajectory. I saw the letting go. But with suicide, it's unexpected, it's unnatural, sudden. There is no time to prepare, and there is no anticipatory grief. It's also an untimely death for many. It's ill-timed. I cannot share with you how many stories I heard my son just killed himself, but he was graduating from high school in two days. Mm -hmm. My daughter just got the job of her dreams. And what about me? My dad kills himself while I'm in the hospital just about ready to give birth to triplets, his first grandchildren. Untimely is just as significant as any other determinant of grief. Mm -hmm. 